Why, hello there, I'm Maris. This is Gamer Quest, and this is The Last Craftsman. I do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of this to take a look at. What is in my bags? Oh, iron ore. That that would be what's in my bags. All right, let's... Well, I have a lot of ore all over the place, don't I? Sheesh, okay. All right, let me... So this is a, a lovely little exploration crafting game um there's there's definitely some stuff going on though there's there's stuff going on so you there's these individuals in this this world called craftsmen and every town has a craftsman and what the craftsman job is is to help the town along fix things you know generally just help everyone function, fix the machines, all that stuff. So the last craftsman in this town went rogue, wanted to kill everybody, is actually still trying to kill people, because as you can see, I'm a couple hours in, so he's shown himself. He was trapped in this robot head because he built this giant robot to destroy the town, and something went wrong with it, thankfully. Um, so we're trying to get to him he went into some ruins and we have to follow him down and it's actually pretty cool um i'll just let me give you a grand tour real quick and then we're going to go um to the ruins and take a look at some of the things that you work on towards end game to hit the end game um besides all the stuff that you do so obviously you can see i have a house here i started growing stuff i have trees planted um, kind of to farm, things like that. You know, you start your basic area. There's a whole town with people that you can become friends with. You can give them gifts. There is a, um, a board to find, like, uh, daily requests on, things like that. There's an itemization system. Let me see here. So, you see how my inventory says food, fruit, plant, rubber? Each item has certain attributes to it. Like this leaf, one leaf is one plant and one rubber. Certain things take amounts like that instead of you have to make something where like I need nine logs, it'll be like, no, I need 15 points of wood type thing. But it might only be like seven logs. So you can see here we have requests. So this one wants fabric, hard, tech, toy fish and this one's looking for um, a metal tool so they're all different and they range now also what you do to level up which i actually thought this is kind of cool if we come all the way up here there's a scientist that you befriend that helps you upgrade stuff and everything but one of the things to learn to learn stuff you come over here and you drop them in the research box so this is everything that I have built up right now. And as you gain reputation levels, you can see that things start to become unlockable, machines, all sorts of stuff. I have, uh, you know, you can see I have a bunch of stuff down here. So that's how you unlock stuff on top of doing those quests to get your reputation level up higher your reputation level the more recipes you unlock and like the more technical the recipes are because that's your craftsman level so let us head down here and see what mayhem we can get into we're going to go to the ruins because this is actually pretty cool like i said you're you're going after the previous craftsman who has come down here and there's a whole complex under here and he, again, is going to try to destroy things. But as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's broken down. So your, one of your main jobs at first is to start fixing these. But you need that little guy. So modified deck. Do we... I'm at 2020. Okay. So we're going to go on a new mission. We're going to go on shipping and receiving. So here we go. He's our assistant. He's so cute. 
leaveth everything to me. So now, here we go. So this is one of the big things in the game. This is now a card battler. So we're going to go through the maps change every time. Their procedure is generous. Some of them, as you can see, we have repair stations. We've got events. There's um, treasure chest ones like that. Um, and the trick is, again, these offer different things that you don't find and you need them to first upgrade to be able to fix the machines to unlock the elevator for you to go up against the the craftsman so let's um and you can see here if you see we have these boxes here um those are your action points it increases every time so we're going to end up, once we end turn, our next time we'll get three points. I'm going to draw a card and end. Actually. Okay. Good stuff. Now this energy bar at the down here is a combined energy bar with you. And like your character's ability. Let's see. This artwork is quite cute. I, I have to say, I didn't expect the, um, I didn't expect, like, the card battler. Like, I, you know, you know you're going to get into something, obviously, when you pick the game up, but, like, I was definitely unprepared for, like, a whole card battling roguelike, almost, almost roguelike game. It's not really... so far. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the boss, but... Okay. I mean, I'm getting low in health anyway, so... So we need to end mission. So unfortunately he's going to drop some items, but that stinks. But we need to go and do a little resting. Also, you don't, um, the only th tool that you need to quote unquote quest for 
is the fish, uh, the fishing rod. And it's actually pretty, pretty easy to get. You don't have a fishing rod at first. The guy wants you to get a fishing rod. Let's just say, even if you purchase a fish, he'll accept it and it unlocks your fishing rod. So it's easy, but you can see all the way over on the side, you, you, I have one, which is the harvesting item. So, you know, you can come harvest stuff. Here's your fishing rod number two. This pointer is how you interact with things. So you saw how I was highlighting things, that, that. And then number four is your, your placing tool. So when you build stuff, when you put stuff down, all that good stuff. We actually, we need to put down um, barns and things like that because I unlocked a cow egg animals at cows and chick uh, well chickens yes but like cows and sheep and all that come from eggs too in case you didn't know um so you can see here i'm a rank two okay all right so let's obviously you can also say here you can cook things um we're doing anything interesting with these what does this make I'm interested to know is it just gonna make like I've like grilled fruit now once you get higher level you can get more elaborate stuff grilled veggies excuse me Here, let's see. Oh, very nice. That grilled fruit gives you quite a bit. And then it also gives you a bonus, Sweet Talker. I can't wait for these to finish. All right, we got our energy. That's all good. We still need to build a machine and rustic. So let's, let's get back. Let's do another... Uh, some more runs here because uh, I need to complete a run to get the full the full loop so let's come back over here there's also a mine in this as well now also one thing I forgot to mention is you will run across ancient tech or older technology as you level up and as you go through like the basement levels with uh, the uh, Theus the uh, little robot you'll get parts and like machine pieces and things like that to fix those items as well so like for instance in the mine there is a crystal growing mechanism so you go in there you know you can mine to it everything like that if you have the items it needs you can fix it and then you'll start to gain crystals and like gems and things like that which go towards crafting things um unlocking certain things like like i um you know like for instance you see how this says like red purple gems blue it, it's like a real like itemization slimy sour like all the spooky transporter like you know so there's there's a lot of stuff in every little point and everything has its has its use can we press new cards Ooh, spicy pack all right all right let's do it let's get back here strike his pose i'm leaving everything to you friend okay oh boy Okay, let's do this.
Oh. Seriously? That's hateful. He's gonna steal it, isn't it? Alright, so what kind of stumbled on a discarded shield? It could be very useful. It doesn't remember how to install them. Alright, we're going to try it. Now, I've had some of these go great. I've had some of them go really, really bad. Ugh. Oh, man. And of course, that one went bad. What else is new? Goodbye. Steal my damn cards. Okay. This guy, <laughs> I had a very rough time, I've, or I have been having a very rough time with this guy. Let's just keep our fingers crossed here. We just gotta keep stacking damage on him. that fire on them. Okay. shouldn't hit that. I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, man. There we go. There we go. That's how we do it. got here we have a transport unit okay and then seven ancient packagers okay 
very interesting. Again, those are things like those transporters we may have to line up along these things. Like I said, every, every little thing's got its place. If you're into like the cozy games that have the farming, they have animal husbandry, like I said, my next step is to build all of the barns and the chicken coops and everything like that and start uh, building relationships with people, all that stuff. Besides like a card battling, like adventure game that it's got its story. Like there, there is an end, an end game type thing. So I think it's pretty cool and pretty well done. And it's a nice, like, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got some cooking, got some fishing, got the farming, and it's got the battling. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to gamerquest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.